of the Big Ben, a church you can call home where we honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God, and we have a passion for souls. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Today, we, well, today we're going to be talking about a closer walk with Him. Amen. On a daily basis. Draw closer to Him on a daily basis. Before we get into our message, let's grab our swords. Let's start my Bibles. And uh, Amen. let's make this declaration together. Amen. So, say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is recessive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My mind is alert. Where's the battlefield? The battlefield is the mind. You're thinking all these things. I know you're thinking about, hmm, fellowship today. And you're thinking, hmm. <laughs> Let's think about spiritual food first. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to read this to you. We kind of mentioned this, but I want to read this to you. NBC, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, is celebrating 11 year 11 year anniversary this month amen so pastors will say patricia we would want to say thank you to everyone thank you for your love your prayers your encouragement and your support amen. we're excited as we start our 12th year amen you are big it says the lord has a big plans for us mm -hmm. and he's not finished with us yet amen so let's remember this and you're a part of this so praise god amen are you ready Woo, thank you lord so a closer walk with him, stepping out in faith, not in fear. You know, as you get the word of God in you, your faith increases. So it's very important, you know, a lot of times we don't do things because fear holds us back. Mm -hmm. Fear paralyzes you and just holds on to you. So we want to get the word of God in us so we can build our faith up and step out in faith. Amen. Woo. So don't give up. Just a closer walk with Jesus on a daily basis. Amen. Draw close to him and he'll draw close to us. And our text is going to be uh, James 4, 7, and 8. Oh, <laughs> 8 talks about drawing close to him. Amen. But listen, let's go to uh, verse 7 first. And we, we say this all the time. It says, therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I have to do something. He says, resist. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before, we didn't know what to do. Now we get the word of God in us. It says, resist him. Mm -hmm. That means, I need to take authority. Yes. He's, Jesus says, he says, I give you authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, you need to take that authority yourself. Don't worry. Don't say, well, I need a pastor to do it. If brother holy or, or sister holy so-and-so can do it for me. No, you, when you, that's why we get the word of God in us, so we can mature in the things of God. And it says, when you resist him, it says, submit yourself to God, resist the enemy. Remember, we fight a spiritual yes. battle. Yes. And it identifies the enemy, the devil. Uh -huh. It says, resist him, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's it. You want to get him off of you, then resist him. Yes. Take authority, it says, wait a minute. You've had me on the run for a long time, but I'm taking authority, and I'm telling you. I'm not going to be run down by uh, a defeated foe. You're a defeated foe. I take authority over you, and I command you to go in Jesus' name. He don't like that. No. <laughs> Amen. He don't like you to quote the word to him and says, in Jesus' name. <laughs> you know why? Because Jesus already defeated him. Yes, he did. He's defeated. So you got a defeated foe. He's coming, and he's trying to put all this mess on you. I say, I'm not receiving it. That's the thing is, don't receive it. You know, in your computer, you, you get something, you delete, 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 and get it out of there. <coughs> well, same thing, he attacks. You put thoughts in your head and just delete those thoughts. I'm not receiving those. Yes, I'm not obeying those things. Yes, Amen. I don't have to obey him. Yes, That's yes, not yes. of God. You know when it's of God and when it's not of God. Yeah. <laughs> if, he, if he's telling you to kill somebody, I don't think God wants me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> No, 
take authority to lead it and say, no, I'm not, I'm not taking that. James uh, 4, 7 and 8. <coughs> James 7, well, we just read uh, 7. 8 says this. It says, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember this. I got to take this step. Remember, the problem is not there with him. The problem is here. We got to face this right here. Right, right. He says, if you draw close to him, he'll draw close to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and we need this bad. He says, cleanse your, cleanse your hands, you sinner, oh, and yeah. purify your hearts, you double-minded. Oh. I've got three different translations I want to give you. That was uh, New King James. The uh, New Living Version says this. It says, so give yourselves to God, stand against the devil, mm -hmm. and he will run away from you. Yeah. You start quoting the word of God, he, he don't want to hang out. That's it. He wants to go. <laughs> he wants, he has to go. He can't be in the presence of God. He can't be in the That's presence it. of you quoting the word of God. He, he, he's, he's out of here. He, he got a book. Right. He says, come close to God, and he'll come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinner. Cleanse your heart. Mm -hmm. You who want to follow the sinful ways of the world and God at the same time. Yeah. We talked about this, you know. You you want to do both. But he says in in uh, Revelations, he says, I can take you hot and I can take you cold. Yeah? Oh, boy. But I won't have you lukewarm. Lukewarm is trying to have both of them, each. Have have both. Mm -hmm. I said, no. He says, I I won't, I won't go there. He said, I'll spit you. I'll vomit you mm -hmm. out, of, out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So we can't be playing that game, you know. I don't know who you're trying to fool. Mm -hmm. He knows all about you. He knows you. Yeah. So you can't fool him. So th this is the, um, the New Living Transl uh, New Living Version. It says, wash your hands, you sinner. <coughs> uh, clean up your hearts. You who want to follow the simple ways of the world and God at the same time. The easy to read version says this. So give yourselves to God. Mm -hmm. Stand against the devil. Yeah. And he will run from you. Yeah. If the Bible says, if the word of God says, he's going to run from you, he will. He has to. He can't hang, he can't hang around That's where it. we're studying or confessing the word of God. He, he, he goes. He's got to go. He's got to go. Mm -hmm. And then it says, come near to God and he'll come near to you. Mm -hmm. So don't blame me. Be careful. We, 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 we talked about this. The words you speak. Okay? Confess the right things. He says, uh, come here to God. He'll come close to you. You are uh, sinners. So clean sin out of your lives. Huh. And uh, you will, are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Mm -hmm. Make your thinking pure. Double, don't be double-minded. <laughs> You know the things of God. You open the Word of God and you read the Word of God. And you know what the Word of God says. So go with what the Word says. Not with what the word, uh, world does or mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or whatever somebody else says. Well, it's always been done like this. We've always done it like this. It doesn't matter what does the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. You know. Somebody tells you something. Main thing you need to do is say, "Can you give me scripture? I want to go check it out myself." Yeah. Well, I don't have scripture. Is you know, so and so said it, and and it's always like this, you know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, hey, that's the truth, you know. No, I want to go check for myself. Mm -hmm. You don't have a scripture for it? Guess what? <laughs> Just delete or put it in the uh, on, on the file. Put it on holes, and uh, mm -hmm. we're not we're not going there. We're not. Don't don't give in to these little things, okay? So that's a three three I gave you. It says when things are not good, a place to turn for guidance, a place to turn for help, a place to turn for a fix of all cares, of all anxieties, of all worries, of all problems, is run to the open arms of a loving Savior that loves you so much. Amen. God so loved the world. He sacrificed his son. Yeah. And Jesus loved you so much. He obeyed his father and he came and gave his life. Yeah. And he allowed himself to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you don't have to put up with this. But you got to get the truth in you. When you yes. get the word of God in you is the truth. And that truth is going to set you free. You know the word in you is not going to help you until you start speaking it out. 
you got to get it out and you got to speak it out and say well you know i'm not one of them and what you to be one of them yeah because when you speak it out it's the word that's going to bring deliverance mm -hmm. amen it's the word that's going to set you free the truth is going to set you free but you got to let it out it says out of your innermost being mm -hmm. shall flow rivers of living water yeah amen that's the word of god living water it's not dead it's it's alive he yes. says, my word goes out and accomplishes what I send it out to do. That's it. Amen. That's why it's so important. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yes. So you be careful where you send your words to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or how you use them. Mm -hmm. And if you said it, if you just had to say it, no. <laughs> then just say, Lord, I, I take that back, you know. Yes. I, I, I confess it. I repent, <laughs> repent, repent, <laughs> repent, and press on. Keep going. Don't don't stay. Don't hold back. Mm -hmm. So run to the open arms of our loving Savior that, that will grant you help yeah. for those who are hungry, for those who are thirsty, for yeah. those that are hurting, for those that are seeking, for those that are in need. Yeah. Amen. He's there for us. Draw close to Him, and He'll draw close to you. So you know what? <laughs> I want to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis, as I spend time with him, as I wake up, thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Yes. I'm glad he gave me a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Before I step out into the world to meet them giants out there, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're going to be waiting for you. Oh, yeah. But are you prepared for them? Mm -hmm. Lord, I prepare myself to go out and, and do what you want me to do, Lord. I prepare myself in you. You know, I, I spend my time with him when I go out. Them giants, them devils, they got to go. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because I'm ready. And I'm going to go and accomplish what God wants me to do. Amen? So, it's not just me. You. It's you. You know? He says, go into all the world. That means in your area of where you live, where mm -hmm. you work, where, where, where you're around the most. Okay? That's you. I can't be where you, where you are and you can't be where I am. But together as a body of Christ, we can accomplish these things. Yes, yes. Amen. I've said it so many times, but you're the closest thing to Christ. Mm -hmm. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will see or hear. That's it. You know, especially you let the Word of God out of you. You're confessing the Word of God instead of confessing all the negative things you used to say. Or confessing the bad words you used to say. Don't let them out. I can change. Thank you, Lord, for changing me. Help me to change, to be more like you. Be Christ-like. Amen. How many of us decide that this morning, church? It's as close as just calling on the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. But we have to. We have to do it. And we just went through some scripture: James four, seven, and eight. Matthew eleven, uh, eleven twenty-eight through thirty says this in the New King James: it "says Come to me, all of you." that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, yes. for I am gentle and lowly in heart, mm. and you will find rest for your souls. And verse uh, 30 says, uh, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes. I'm going to read it to you from the uh, easy read version. It says, come to me, all of you who are tired from the heavy burden mm. you have been forced to carry. Yes. I will give you rest. Accept my teachings. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit. And you will be able to get some rest. Yes, yes the teachings that I ask you to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Remember, I can do all things through Christ all who strengthens me. Yeah. Amen. It'll be one of our first scriptures to learn. God loves you. And he's given us his word. He gave his son. And then he's given us his word for us to do. Jesus came and was sacrificed. And he died and he rose again. But before he left again, he told, go into all the world. Yes. Amen. It says all, all of us, not just his disciples, all of us, born again believers, go into all the world and preach his gospel. Lay hands on the sick. And they shall be covered. You know? And they said they went and God with them. Yes. And they accomplished all these things. Don't say you don't, don't cut yourself short. <laughs> Amen. You can do all these things. Don't say I can't, I can't, I can't. Mm. The world tries to limit you. The world 
disqualifies you. Mm -hmm. But God says, I have qualified the call. Mm -hmm. I have called you too. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's just opposite of what the world says. So if we're looking to Him and we're doing it unto Him, you're already qualified and you're already called and you're already anointed of God to accomplish these things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say amen or all amen. <laughs> Second Peter 1 and 7 says this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of loving of a sound mind. And what's the one thing that can hold us back the most? Mm. Fear. I, yes. can't, I can't do that. Mm. You're asking me to do something. And, and you have fear. And the enemy tries to put fear on you. Mm. And it just paralyzes you. It just holds you. Mm. Don't take it. That's it. I said, wait a minute. Jesus paid the price. Mm -hmm. He paid it all for me to be free. I don't have to take this fear. Fear is not for me. That's it. Amen. As you mature in the word of God and the things of God, your faith is going to grow. Mm -hmm. it's, you're just going to step over this. He told Peter, Peter says, I want to walk with Jesus in the water. <laughs> all he told him was come. Oh. And, and, and he stepped out in faith. Amen. Until he started thinking like the world and say, I can't do this. Mm. <laughs> you know, God has called us to do some things, you know, and we immediately say, well, the world says I'm no good. The world says I can't do this. The world says whatever, you know, you've been told. If God says do it, do it. Amen. Because you can do all things through Him. Oh, Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. Galatians yeah. 6 and 9 says, and let us not be weary in well doing. In due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Amen. Amen. So, child of God, step out in faith. Yeah. You're a child of God. Mm -hmm. If you're born again, believer, child, of, you're a child of God. He says He's our heavenly Father. We're His children. So don't go around labeling yourself as a sinner, a sinner, a sinner. If you're a child of God, you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Don't go around calling yourself a sinner anymore. You may sin, but you confess it and get it out. And give it to Him. And press on with Him. He's not finished with you yet. Amen. Amen. Draw close to Him and He'll draw close to you. Let go and let God. Cast it on Him. Get, excuse me. Cast it all on Him. Give it all to Him. If you, he didn't say give me half or give me a few. He says cast it all. Give it all to Him. Why are you still holding on to it? Amen. We give it to Him or we cast it on Him and next thing you know is <laughs> you start thinking the things that haven't changed. So I'm going to take it back because maybe the Lord needs need some help. No. You just know that it takes time. Okay, it takes time. It, his timing, not my timing. You just got to <clears throat> conf confess it, pray about it, and leave it in His hands. Yeah. Amen. And when you start learning, be patient. Because it's going to come. It'll be there. Amen. But don't rush. No, there's no, there's no rush. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 8 says this, Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that you may be uh, exalted in due time, in due time, in His timing. Not my timing, but His timing. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what do I have to do? I have to have patience. I have to pray. I got, I got to have patience and trust. And this is have faith. Yes. Have faith. Just trust. I know it's going to come to pass because the Word of God says so. Mm -hmm. And I'm trusting God. And I'm having faith in, in Him. I have faith in His Word. <coughs> in due time, verse 7 says, Casting all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, again, your enemy, the devil, walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking to whom he may devour. Yeah. That's all he wants to do. The enemy wants to do what? John 10 10. Because yeah, his mission is sti still kill and destroy. Amen. That's all he wants to do. So <laughs> you don't want him as your friend because he's going to turn around on you and he wants to kill you, steal, and destroy. He doesn't change. 
Amen. Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So you don't have to live that way anymore. You don't have to do those things anymore. I want you to have life and have it more abundantly. So you don't just have to uh, slide by. It says, 1 Peter 5 and 8, in the Amplified, I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. It says, therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside self-righteous pride. So that he may exalt you to be a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time. He wants all of us in his service. Yeah. He's called all of us. You're not excluded. If somebody's told you this, it's a lie. Since the Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world. The world. People. That's mm -hmm. us. Okay? When you come to Christ, you're a child of God. And you come into the body of Christ. You come into uh, the church. Us, the body of Christ. Amen. And he wants us all to succeed and win. Amen. Amen. But he says, uh, to a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time. He wants to promote you in his time. Amen. He knows the right time. So you, we don't have to rush. Casting all cares all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all, on Him, for He careth about you with deepest affections and watches over you very carefully. And verse eight says, "Be sober, well balanced, and self-disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times." Yes. Says the enemy of yours, the devil, prowleth round like a roaring lion, mm. fiercely hungry, mm. seeking someone to devour. Yeah. Now, I guarantee you, we give in, we help him out yeah. by confessing <laughs> the wrong things, saying the wrong things, and we open the door for him to come in. So, again, be careful of the words you say. Yes. If you're going to say negative things, you're opening the door for the enemy to yeah. come in. Well, how did this happen? We said the wrong things, and he came in. Once you get him in, <laughs> it's hard to get him out. Yeah. But you can command him to go. Amen. Remember, resist him. Take authority and command him to go. Just a little walk with Jesus. Call on Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's one prayer away. He's one step away. He's in a back yeah. face away. He's yes. a, a turn a, a turnaround way. Mm -hmm. Amen. The prodigal son took off, man. He blasted off. Dad, give me all this mind. I'm, I'm out of here. And he blasted <laughs> off. But guess what? He come to his senses quick. <laughs> <laughs> The world had his lunch. And he was eating with the pigs. But he, he called on Jesus. Hey, Lord, I, I, I need you. He said, I can go back to Father's house. Yes, yeah, some of you are watching. Some of you are listening. You've been away from Father's house too long. It's time to turn around. It's time to come home. It's time to come home. Call on him and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. He's waiting for you to confess him as Lord and Savior. It's time. Quit putting it off because tomorrow's not guaranteed. That's it. Amen. So he's a, a turn turn around away. Bible heroes called on him. They needed him. If they needed him, so should we. Yeah. Says Jesus called on the Father for strength on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You know some of the things Jesus went through? <laughs> you want a hero? That's your biggest hero yes. right there. Yes. Some of the things he went through, we couldn't. We couldn't do it. No. And that's a real, well, say he, he was human, but that's a real man. Amen. The things that he took, the things he went through. Amen. That's a real hero. When Jesus called the Father and said, Lord, I can't do this. And that, that's me. He says, I need your strength. If Jesus went to the Father and called on the Father for strength, we should also because we need his strength on a daily basis we can't do it without him that's it but don't give up amen don't give up the prodigal son he made the call moses at the red sea man you got an egyptian army behind you and you got the red sea in front of you what are you going to do <laughs> call on the father and he tells him what to do he says just stretch a rod over over the water and that thing 
just parted wide enough for his whole, all these people to walk through on dry ground. Dry ground. Amen. All the way through. And then it just closed up on the army. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they called on him. The lady with the issue of blood said, I can only touch the hem of his garment. Lord, I need you. Man, doctors can't help me. But Dr. Mm -hmm. Jesus can. Yes. Amen. And it surprise you when you read it and, and they're in a crowd and people just bumping all around. Just like you being in a, in a concert or being at a, at a, a ball game or something, you know. And there's people all around you. Mm. People bumping you all over the place. This lady touched him. He touched the hem of his garment. And Jesus says, wait a minute. He says, somebody touched me. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. There's people bumping all, over, all around you. But he knows, you know, when you call, he knows. Mm -hmm. He knows when you call. He can tell. And he's not ashamed of it. So don't you be ashamed of it. Yes, yes. When we yes. need him, we need him. That's it. And he's there for us. Amen. He never leaves us, nor forsake us. Right. He's always with us. But she made the calls. How about Daniel, man? Said, I need to help. Got all these uh, hungry lions all around me. <laughs> You think that was good? You think that was fun? No. They threw him in there with hungry lions. But you know, greater is he that was, he can call on, you know, the greater one. That's us. You mean we can call on the greater one. <coughs> David and Goliath, nobody talked about Jesus until, uh, uh, oh God, until David showed up. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and he saw the giant, but you know what? He says, that's nothing. Yeah, greater is he that's in me. Greater is he that's back in me than that giant out there. Yeah. Greater is he that's in you than whatever giants are coming against yeah. you. Whatever cares, whatever worries, yeah. whatever problems are facing you. Mm -hmm. The one in you is greater than all of them. I've got to go through all kinds of this. Uh, Joshua and Jericho. Great walls. Physically, impossible. Mm -hmm. I mean, them, them walls are so thick. I mean, they raised chariots around that thing. That's how wide it was. But you know, God God said, gave him a plan to put the worshipers up right. And he did. And he did exactly what God told him to do. And then walls yes. come down yes. flat. Yes. I mean, the army, Joshua and his army just walked right in. Mm. Praise God. Hey. There's no limits with him. He can do all these things. Amen. Yeah. And we just need to make that call. <laughs> How would you like to be Jonah in the belly of a big fish? No. <laughs> okay, God, I'll do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. But some of us find ourselves in strange places. <laughs> sometimes prison. Sometimes jail. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're facing a, 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 a gun facing at you. Mm -hmm. Still, Lord, help me. When Jonah was in the belly of a big fish. <laughs> and he says, okay, I'll do what you want me to do. God heard him. You know, he sits at the right hand of God. He said he's interceding for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, when they, when, when they killed uh, oh, Stephen. Mm -hmm. it says, that's the only place in the Bible where it says Jesus stood up yes, to receive Stephen. Yes, yes. Amen. That's, that's how much he cares for us. He cares for you. But I don't care who says what. God, He died for us. He died for you. He died for me. Amen. Woo. Three Hebrew children. That's a great story. I like it. They threw three three little children in there. But they said, wait a minute. I see four. How do you throw three in there and then you see four in the fire? And they survived. They called on him. Amen. I threw this in there. Maybe you never saw it like this, but I threw the robber at the cross. Man, he, he knew he was going to die. And he recognized Jesus next to him. And he called on Jesus. Amen. He called on Jesus. And he says, today, today, right now, he says, you'll be with me. Amen. So some of you listening, some of you watching, it's not too late. Now is the time. You know, that... That robber didn't have to go through uh, 
uh, all these uh, beginning classes, you know, uh, membership classes, uh, whatever time frames, you know, you got to do to, to be accepted. You don't have to go through all that to be accepted into the kingdom of God. All you have to do is says confess. Yes. Amen. Confess. Speak the word. And Jesus says, right now, you're with me. Amen. So he made the call. And guess what? If you haven't made the call, it's time for you to make that call. The apostles, they called on him. <laughs> Jesus says, we're going to the other side. That disciples should be your faith. Jesus says, we're going to the other side. They've seen him do all these other miracles. Uh-huh. And he said, we're, if he says we're going to the other side, guess what? I don't care what comes up. We're going to the other side because the master says so. <laughs> Jesus says so. But no. <laughs> as soon as he goes to sleep, storm rises up. Man, they get so frightened. They're afraid. And they come and say, don't you care? We perish. Jesus came up. And he rebuked, calmed the winds. He said, where's your faith? I said, we're going to the other side. That's me. He said, we're going to the other side. That should have been your faith right there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whatever he says, if he says we're, if it, this is going to happen, he said it. So I'm trusting and I have faith in what he said. Amen. We can make the call daily for him. Amen. Don't, don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Remember, you're a child of God. I don't care who said what. You're not good enough. You're not qualified. You know, you're not good enough to be a child of God. And I confessed him, and he's gonna, he's not gonna reject you. So, you're a child of God. If I'm a child of God, that means I have a heavenly Father, and He's my heavenly Father, and I can go to my heavenly Father, and He's good, He's gonna be there for me. He's interceding for me. He's there for me. So, praise God. God is great. And He will be sought. He is good and He will be found. He's not hiding from you. We hide from Him. Even though He knows what you're doing. You think you're hiding from Him? He knows all about you. He knows the worst about you and loves you the most. You need to remember this. Draw close to Him and you'll draw close to us. Amen. Draw close to God and good things will start happening. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. James 1 and, and uh, 8, I'm going to read it to you from King James and the easy to read version, but it says, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The easy to read version goes like this. It says, People like that are thinking two different things at the same time. Yeah. They can never decide what to do. Uh -huh. So they should not think they will receive anything from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. So get your mind right and start thinking the way He wants you to think. Yes. Okay. Can't please God and can't please the world. Oh, so you got to get that out of your head. Amen. You can't have both. <laughs> huh. One or the other. God expects us to draw close to Him. We can do our part if He, if he does His part. His part is already done. I need to do my part. Yeah. We got to get this. Okay? We're waiting on Him. Why are we waiting on Him? He's waiting on us. Amen? We're still sitting. We're still just kicking back, waiting on God to make everything right. Well, you better get into the Word and learn what the Word says and start confessing the word but know that the problem is not in heaven the problem is not with him the problem is with us <laughs> our part we need to do our part fulfill our part proverbs 3 20 uh, 30 and 20 32 excuse me proverbs 3 30 20, uh, through 32 new living uh, version says do not fight with a uh, man for no reason when he has done you no wrong. Do not be jealous of a man who hurts others. And do not choose any of his ways. For the bad man is hated by the Lord. But he is closer and nearer to those who are right with him. Amen. He is there for you. 
many Christians will tell you they love God, they want to get close to God, they want to come to church, they want to change, but only few succeed. Few succeed, quit using excuses, put some uh, feet to your faith, All step right, out yeah. of your boat, step out of your little comfy zone, step out of your comfy place. Quit being shy, fearful. God loves you. And He loves to draw close to you Amen. each and every day. All right. Amen. Praise God. I've got this uh, scripture I quoted to you a few minutes ago. Revelation 3.16 at NIV says, So because you are uh, lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we, 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 we can't do that. If you're going to be a God pleaser, be a God pleaser. Don't be a people pleaser. You're going to please God or you're going to please the world. Amen. Just get yourself uh, strong in the things of God. Get yourself strong in the Word of God. And start doing what the, what the Word of God tells you to do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Draw close to God. Spend time in prayer. Spend time with Him. Praise and worship with Him. Spend time in the Word, meditate on it, study, cast all troubles on Him, and He will help you. Be encouraged. He loves you. His love for you is everlasting. Amen. We haven't opened our Bibles, but if you grab your Bible, well, you don't have an amplifier. Let me read it to you. Well, you can still read it in uh, Ephesians. Open your Bibles to Ephesians. And we're going to read chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. And I'll read it from the King James. And then I'll read it to you from the Amplified. Amen. Are you there? No. Uh, King James says, For ye be, be uh, therefore uh, followers of God as dear children. And as uh, walk in love, as God also hath loveth us, and hath given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet uh, smelling savor. The uh, Amplified, some of you may have it in the Amplified Bible, and it goes like this. It says, verse 1 and 2, it says, Therefore be imitators of God. Amen. It's okay to be imitators. We, we try to copy the world. We try to be like the world. We got the heroes and things like that. But it says, mm. Be imitators of God. Copy Him and follow His examples. Mm -hmm. How are you going to follow His examples if you don't get in the Word and know what His examples are? Mm -hmm. So again, you got to get in the Word and know what the Father's examples are. It says, as well-beloved children, yes. imitate their fathers. Yes. So, you know, you fathers, the Bible tells us to train our children the way they should go. When they are old, they will not depart from it. It didn't say just send them to the babysitter right. and let them te babysitter teach them. Uh -huh. It didn't say teach it, uh, send them to school and let the school raise them. Uh -huh. And then come home and end up being what you want them to be. Mm -hmm. The main thing is this. You're supposed to teach them the way they should go. Amen. And they go back what you have taught amen but when he says when they are old they will not depart from it mm -hmm. they'll know what you have taught them mm -hmm. amen because all children want to be like their father no. amen I so know. let's 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 remember that verse 2 says and walk in love esteeming and delighting in one another as christ loved us and gave himself up uh, for us a slain offering and sacrifice uh, to God for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. So, be imitators of God. And you know what? People are going to see it. Mm -hmm. People are going to see it. I said, you need something about you. What is it about you? Mm -hmm. I am being an imitator of my God. Mm -hmm. And people see that. Say, wow, I can see... When I see you, I can see Jesus. 
And you know what? I want Jesus. You can have Jesus too. Just let him know. You can have Jesus. All you need to do is confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. And you can lead him to Christ. Let them be a child of God. Remember, we're here to be uh, uh, ministers of, of reconciliation. Every one of us. Yes. We're called to be ministers of reconciliation. Bringing the lost to the world. And bringing the lost to Christ. The lost of the world to Christ. And we're also his ambassadors. Ambassadors as you're God's mouthpiece on earth. Amen. So as you go out and do the things of God, you know, you speak for him. But you got to watch your words and watch your actions, you know, because people are watching. And the enemy's busy. And the enemy wants to distract you. And he's going to use any kind of distraction to stop you. That's it. Amen. He's going to try to limit you in every kind of way. And he don't give up. So you got to not give up and be strong in the things of God. Yes. Copy Him. And be an example for people to see. Amen. You're God on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, you, you're His imitator. You're His representative. Amen. Praise God. Draw close to God and He'll draw close to you. Jesus is our role model. And that was uh, Peter, 1 Peter uh, 5, 1 and 2. Jesus prayed, so can we. Jesus taught his followers to pray, so can we. Paul spoke of his continuous prayers, amen? And we can do the same thing. Uh, the apostles gave himself to prayer, and we can do the same thing. Our prayer is just confessing the word of God. Talking to God. Talking to God, you know? Uh, you don't need the pastor. You don't need uh, any holy rollers, you know? <laughs> You can just go to God, you know, wherever you are. You know, you could be laying down. You could just be sitting. You could be uh, driving. Amen. You don't have to close your eyes. You can, you can just talk to Him all the time. You know, people get full of people get full of that uh, uh, cra crazy uh, fluid. You know, they get full of, full of alcohol. You know, and they talk to anybody. Oh. We we can get full of the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. Amen. And get high on the most high. Yes. And talk to him. You know, if I'm by myself, I can talk to him. And I, I'm down. You know, if you're amongst people, you can still talk to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He knows. He hears you. Yes. Amen. So, let's not limit ourselves. You know, we try, we, the enemy tries to limit us. We limit ourselves because we're see ourselves not good enough because mm -hmm. we see ourselves fearful mm -hmm. and the enemy's going to keep you there if you choose to stay there yeah yeah some of us are still allowing ourselves to stay there mm -hmm. it's time to come out amen it's time to come out you step out of your boat step out of your closet step out of yes. whatever it is yes. that's, yeah. that that's kept you bound all this time that's it. why are you still there god said it jesus said it's free Mm -hmm. But some of us, we're still bound by whatever somebody said to you. Mm -hmm. Don't. It's time to step out. It's time Amen. to step out in faith. Step out of all this uh, stuff mm -hmm. that the world tries to put on you. Amen. Don't accept it. Don't receive it. Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's a greater need for the church, the body of Christ. There's a greater need. Remember I talked about in the latter days, in the last days, we're in the last days. Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse. Go to go go to Second Peter. Excuse me, Second Timothy, chapter three, and read it like verse uh, not now, but uh, uh, verses one through fourteen, I think it is. It tells you in the last days what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. All those things it talks about is happening now. It's all, some have already happened, some might happen. But you know, you being strong in Him, being strong in Him, people are going to see and know to call on you. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. So when we draw near to God, God will draw near to, to us. Good things will happen. Amen. So uh, we're going to stop here. And. Uh,
just know, like uh, James 4, 7 and 8 says, the guardian of God is never on near you. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Let's draw near to Christ that we may experience His love and His power. Yes. He's not limiting you. We limit ourselves. We yes. allow the enemy and people to limit us. Amen. You know why you're still here? Because he's not finished with you. When he's finished with you, he'll call you home. But as long as you're here, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And he's not, he's not excluding you. He's including you. You're part of the body of Christ. Yeah. And you're valuable to him. And he loves you so much. Let's remember this. Amen. So praise God. Thank you so much that you get something. Yeah. <laughs> Praise yes. God. Thank you. Thank Get you, Lord. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Those of you that are watching, those of you listening, it's time to come home. Amen. We got to draw close to Him, and He'll draw close to us. You know, some of us have just ran and, and just got trying to get away so far away from Him, and just no, like the Jesus. prodigal son. Uh -huh. But you know what? You haven't accomplished anything. You just got hurt. You're lost. Yeah. And you need a Savior. Yeah. And He's already proved that. So he's your savior, but you know what? You gotta come home and you gotta receive him as Lord and Savior. All you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And you know what? He will. <laughs> Amen. But you need to confess it and get it out. And he'll come to you. Amen. Yeah. Get to a Bible-based church where you can study the word of God. Get to a Bible-based church where, where they're going to receive you. Where they're going to receive you. Amen. Amen. And you start confessing. You start reading the word and growing yes. in the things of God. One step at a time. One day at a time. It's going to take some time, but that's okay. God is on your side now. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Some of you are battling some sickness in your body right now, you know. But Jesus says, by my stripes, you were healed. He took the stripes on his back for us to be healed. So yes. body line up with the word of God. You see you're healed right now in Jesus' name. And he, no malfunctions in that body. He created it to function perfectly. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So we're just speaking to this body's line up with the word of God. It yeah. function perfect in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So yeah. receive your healing. Amen. And it's time to give. So you can go to our, our website, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. And if you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And cash apps uh, at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.